The following program has been made possible in part through the support of the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation and the J. Roderick MacArthur Foundation. These days, Peru is the ideal country for a satirical song. It's got corruption, chaos, Colombian drug traffickers, a $20 billion external debt, two guerrilla movements, an army ruling behind the scenes, a Japanese president unknown before his election, an American drug war, and a real war all its own. <laughs> Peruvians all over the country have been singing the song for months. It's fine to dance to, and it reflects the frustration they feel over problems that seem beyond solution. <laughs> The threat of violence is always present in Peru. 25,000 people have been killed or disappeared during the last decade. The military has matched in ferocity the most savage insurgency in Latin America. Sendero Luminoso, the shining path. Today, Peru is in a virtual state of civil war, its people under siege from all sides. For Americans, the war is very different. Since Ronald Reagan and George Bush declared war on drugs, American aid to Peru has been linked to a facade of Peruvian cooperation in eradicating coca plants and interdicting drug supplies. But the United States' single-minded obsession with narcotics may be shifting, thanks to an unintended byproduct of the drug war, the rapid expansion of Sendero Luminoso. We wanted to fill you in on uh, the hearing on Sendero Luminoso that we're planning. We feel that uh, the United States is in danger of backing into an involvement in a counterinsurgency effort under the guise of the drug war. The rising specter of the Shining Path, what they represent. Indeed, in Peru, the Sendero Luminosa continues to wage a vicious war against the peoples of that nation. The Sendero Luminosa is the Khmer Rouge of Latin America. The, Sendero the influence of the Sendero in terms of drug trafficking has been uh, vastly overstated. In Peru. Admittedly, oh, I, it's I mean, the most difficult program we have. They have got a, an economy that almost went down the tubes. Uh, they have got cholera. They've got every problem known to man. But they also have... In fact, two American pilots sick. were uh, uh, recently shot down and killed in Peru by what may uh, have been Shining Path no. guerrillas. We're going to have to be no. very, very careful that, that we're not sucked into, into some type of a civil war while we're trying to control the countryside for purposes of eradication and find out that uh, we got U.S. troops against the Shining Path. Clear that there is no backdoor sliding into a counterinsurgency program in Peru. There is no slippery slope If the General takes over and they slaughter a million people, then we'll be Where forced to be involved. Where is it the United States is the, the guarantor of a country that is, is incapable of providing the security for its people and a government that one need only refer to uh, Vietnam El Salvador and Nicaragua to remember wrenching domestic debates about the proper role and uses of US power overseas oh, my bottom dollar in one thing and that, that is that eventually we'll be involved
What is the index or the measure that you would use in determining success in the drug war? Now, you said we made it more expensive for them, but I don't think we've cut down the flow coming into the United States. I, I think that the, the, the national will of the nations involved is the best measure of success. Uh, wait a minute now. That might, be, that might be something that, to which we would aspire. But if the supply keeps increasing, I don't care how much we interdict, uh, if it keeps increasing, we ain't winning.